What is the Ethereum merge? If you are on this page, we can safely assume you would have heard about the world's most prominent blockchain and a major upcoming update. Yes, you are right. Ethereum blockchain is planning a major upgrade where its main network will be combined with the beacon chain. This would involve the shifting of Ethereum's consensus mechanism from the earlier proof of work. How? Completely to proof of stake, polonium 2 sulfide. The Ethereum merge holds immense potential and would signal a turning point in the history of the Ethereum blockchain. What is Ethereum merge? In essence, Ethereum merge is the latest technical upgrade that Ethereum plans to undertake wherein its mainnet will merge with the proof-of-stake system known as the beacon chain. Initially, the beacon chain ran separately from the mainnet. The main network or mainnet uses a proof-of-work model, even though the beacon chain parallelly works on proof-of-stake. The Ethereum merge will mark the end of the proof-of-work method and combine the beacon chain with the mainnet. What happens after the merge? Once ready, Ethereum's mainnet will join with the beacon chain, after which only the proof-of-stake approach will apply to the Ethereum blockchain. It is expected that this will make the mainnet run the smart contracts on the proof-of-stake method. Besides, the complete history and the present state of Ethereum will also work on the POS model, to ensure there's no inconvenience to investors or users with regard to ETH transactions, owing to the transition. After the merge, stakers will be assigned to Ethereum's mainnet. Mining would no longer be required, and miners can invest their earnings under the new staking pool. Misconceptions about the merge There are some major misconceptions surrounding the merge, which must be clarified for the benefit of investors, primarily. The misconceptions include, the merge will create a new Ethereum token. This is a serious fallacy around the merge. Earlier, the Ethereum Foundation had stated that the merge would be known as, Ethereum 2.0 feet or, ETH2. Some scammers misled investors that a new token ETH2 will be generated after the merge. However, to eliminate the misconception, the Ethereum Foundation and the team of developers announced that the label would be removed. No new token would be created after the merge. The merge will lower Ethereum fees. Ethereum is migrating from the proof-of-work consensus algorithm to the proof-of-stake. The POW method involves solving complex mathematical computations by powerful computers, miners, to verify the blocks of transactions. This consumes a lot of computing power and poses a threat to the environment with regard to energy usage. With the merge, Ethereum would migrate from a proof-of-work to a proof-of-stake consensus approach. Under this model, investors can validate and confirm the transactions based on the number of coins they contribute or stake. In return, the investors stand a higher probability of being chosen to validate the transactions and earn a reward based on the amount staked. As of now, Ethereum uses both POW and POS. However, only the proof-of-work algorithm is used to process users' transactions. After the merge, the mainnet will get combined with the proof-of-stake system, or the beacon chain and proof-of-work would cease to exist. The POS approach does not require much power to validate the blocks, which makes it eco-friendly. As a result, some investors and users might be tempted to believe that this would reduce Ethereum's gas fee or transaction fees. However, that is not true. There will not be any lowering of gas fees. There is a date already decided for the merge to happen. As of now, there is no set date on when the merge will take place. There is uncertainty around the timeline as it is a very big and complex implementation for Ethereum that would completely transform its ways of working. Besides, Ethereum supports several functionalities such as non-fungible tokens, NFTs, decentralized finance, DeFi, and more. All these aspects also have to be looked into before planning for any large technical upgrade. Some scammers and fraudulent parties start rumors about the dates or time of the upgrade. However, it is advised one only rely on the announcements from the Ethereum Foundation. Benefits of the merge After the merge, Ethereum would use only the proof-of-stake model to choose the users for validating the blocks. There are multiple advantages that this change would offer. First, the upgrade would eliminate the need for proof-of-work and thus mining is discontinued. As a result, excess computing power to validate the transactions would be avoided, thereby fostering an environment-friendly measure. Second, in the case of proof-of-work, the investors or users had to buy expensive hardware equipment required for computers to solve the complex puzzles during mining. On the flip side, the POS model does not have such requirements. Third, through the staking system, 
Investors can stake their ETH coins and earn reward or interest by getting selected to validate the transaction blocks. Finally, the merge would increase the scalability, efficiency, and speed of Ethereum transactions. This will make it faster than other protocols working on the PAL model, without compromising on security. Closing thoughts. The Ethereum merge would bring several benefits with the coming together of the main network in the beacon chain. Ethereum blockchain would be shifting from the proof-of-work to the proof-of-stake approach. There are some misconceptions around this technical implementation that have been discussed here. Besides offering an eco-friendly option, Merge intends to enhance the scalability and efficiency of the Ethereum blockchain. Thank you.